Well, hello guys. So, it has been a little while since I've talked to you while I was vlogging throughout the whole Gateway conference, but um, haven't, you know, I have vlogged daily, but I haven't been posting daily because I wanted to put that whole Gateway conference vlog together. Um, and plus, there's not a whole lot of time to edit when you're at a Gateway conference and you go to your room and go to sleep. <laughs> That's pretty much what we did. We got up, ran out, you know, did the conference, came back, went to sleep. So it wasn't really a whole lot of, you know, time. Um, but it was incredible and that vlog is up. So, um, you are, I actually don't know if it's live yet, but it will be by the time this one is. So check that out. Um, and yeah, so today I am just kind of hanging out and, um, today's Friday, which is my day off now. So, um, at the first church that I worked at, the church that I, you know, pretty much grew up in the time I was 10, um, I worked there and everything. Fridays were, was my day off there. Fridays is still their day off. Always has been as long as I remember, or as long as I can remember. But um, when I worked there, Friday was my day off, which was cool because you get Friday and Saturday. Um, Sunday in the church world, we don't consider a day off because it's not. <laughs> we we do a lot. So Friday and Saturday, um, you know, I would get. But then in New Mexico, I had Mondays off. So that was kind of cool too. You know, you have Sunday, which is crazy busy. You know, sometimes night in worship, sometimes different stuff. So then having Monday off was cool. So when I came here... I had a decision <laughs> and I could choose what day I wanted. Now, the cool thing about my pastor here and everything, they're very big on like rest and <laughs> he scared me. I just saw your shirt and I was like, what is that? <laughs> um, they're very big on like rest, man, he just came in. Um, so, you know, they want you to be taken care of. So they said, you know, whatever day you want, you can take off, like take a day. But most of them, actually all of them, except for the pastor right now, he, our lead pastor doesn't have even a day that he takes off. But um, everybody else has Fridays. They, they picked Fridays. And so I went back and forth on what I wanted, but I think Friday really just makes more sense to me. And I really enjoy like Thursday being my Friday, you know. Um, and having Friday and Saturday back to back will be helpful. Uh, mainly because if we were to go anywhere or do anything, we have a longer amount of time to do it. We could leave Thursday after work or whatever. Because uh, I get off around 4, um, you know, on a normal day, 4, 4.30. I mean, you know, not like a specific time, but typically around 4. Um, so anyways, I picked Friday. So today is my day off, and I'm about ready to get in the shower. And we cleaned up the house this morning, or didn't really have to clean, but just, you know, pick some stuff up, doing some laundry, put the dishes, Manny put the dishes in the dishwasher. So, um, yeah, we're just kind of getting some stuff done. I'm actually diffused. I have a candle going in, um, the, in the living room area right now. And then in the bedroom, I have some oils diffusing. So I'm using frankincense and orange. They go good together. So that smells really nice. And, uh, the candle is from my friend Krista. Uh, we work together. Um, she's doing like young adults pastoring at the church. So, uh, she's starting a new thing there. She was a student pastor before. Um, but anyways, where she's awesome. And she gave us this little gift basket yesterday. I had a candle in it and I'll show you the other things, but it was so, so sweet. So anyway, I need to jump in the shower. I think we're going to go to the coffee shop today and have some fun. So I need to get in the shower. So my hair is all wet, but I just wanted to tell you guys what I did on Wednesday. So I'm part of this worship leaders group on Facebook and I had a conference one time that I have in a vlog um, where I got to meet and speak to and ask a question to Jeremy Riddle uh, during one of those uh, virtual conferences that is put on by somebody in this group. Um, we also got to hear from the guy who put the conference together and he always has a great word for us as well. So we just had another one on Wednesday and it was with Meredith Andrews who used to be worship leader for a uh, vertical, well, vertical worship, but it was Harvest Church. Um, so anyways, it is uh, always such a good time. So I did that on Wednesday and I have a clip of it that I will go ahead and insert here. <laughs> Rose, go ahead, let's have you ask your question. 
Okay. Hi, Meredith. Um, I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much for doing this. It's been so encouraging for me and just, I'm just right on point for me. So incredible. Um, but I have a question. It's not like a super spiritual question or anything, so I'm probably going to feel goofy asking it. But I'm wanting to begin kind of starting with my team, um, writing songs within the team. And, and I'm at a church that actually hasn't done that before. Um, I'm, I'm new to this church, but actually never before have I written songs with any of my teams. So I'm just wondering if you have any advice on how I can start implementing that and kind of, you know, shift that culture there from doing everybody else's songs all the time to kind of throwing our own in and having songs that our church kind of birthed. Yeah, no, I love that. That's awesome. Um, well, honestly, I would just encourage you to make time for it in your week because <clears throat> songwriting is such a, a creative thing. And I know with like working at a church, you have all these different facets of, of you know, what your job requires and a lot of it is administrative and a lot of it is scheduling and and also relational so the songwriting aspect is relational but it's also very creative and for me I have to kind of turn off the administration and logistical side of my brain so that I can actually engage in my heart and be creative and so for you guys just starting out you could just get together and I don't know how many people are on your team but I would say you know, get in a room with about three or four people mm -hmm. and just go, hey, I've got this thing on my heart and I really want to start writing songs for our church. Mm -hmm. You can even, you know, take notes from a sermon, you know, mm -hmm. like I've written so many songs from sermon notes. It's crazy yeah. just because that fuels this, these ideas. And especially um, if you're wanting to write songs for your church, that's a great place to start okay. because you're wanting to kind of drive that nail home of what your church has been walking through and what you've been, you know, learning from even just teaching in the word. Yeah. Uh, but just set aside time uh, and get a few people together. And, and if it feels like, you know, you don't necessarily finish it, then revisit. Just say, hey, we're going to do this once a month. We're going to do this twice a month. And just set aside time and be intentional with mm -hmm. that. And the more you do, do it, the more you're going to grow. And I love... Um, co-writing like I don't even really write by myself anymore I might have an idea but then I always take it to somebody else because I love the beauty of community yeah. and co-writing and you know a bunch of people getting in the room and offering their perspective mm. and, and their wisdom so okay thank you so much yeah for sure so yeah it was just really an incredible 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 uh conference virtual conference and they last like I think like three hours and um it was awesome to be able to do that I did it while I was at the office um but it was an incredible time and she is so genuine and uh Nick the guy who puts everything together he puts so much work into everything he spoke as well and it was just he did an awesome job it always does I didn't fully vlog that day but I wanted to vlog that part for you guys because it was just so fun so I love those and I know we're going to be having more call up if you're a worship leader and you want to be involved in those, let me know and I can get you in that group and uh, it'll be super fun. All right, so we're at the coffee shop. We got, I got an iced caramel latte. Manny got this fancy, um, it's a frappe, what kind of they say? Chocolate, German chocolate cake, I think. Yeah. And this is kind of what it looks like in here. It is so nice. Oh, just love it in here. The atmosphere is amazing. Ooh. And it's the best coffee ever. Is that good? <laughs> yes, it's like the best ever. Try it. This is so good. It's actually salted caramel, not just caramel. Caramel, whatever. It's so good. Looks so cool in here, and they have this like little cup coming out of the wall. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we are back from coffee shop um it is such such a good coffee shop oh my gosh like it beats starbucks or any place else ever like we love that place the first time we ever came out here we went to to that location actually and they weren't open yet um but we went there because they opened for us and um it was just so good and we fell in love with it and it's the same one that they have in the church right now i guess the church one's only open on sundays and wednesdays and special events basically service times and special events um but it was open like throughout the week too anyway we're gonna go inside i think there's a new Grey's anatomy that i want to watch we got some laundry to put in dryer or something and, and i have this shirt on too this is a shirt that i got from gateway it says work willingly at whatever you do anyways so i like that cool in here 
very cool in here. That's another thing I was gonna say. It's not quite fall here in Texas. They do get fall weather in Texas. Supposedly, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't witnessed it yet, but it, um, they say they get it, so I'm gonna trust them. But um, they do get fall weather. Actually, they had fall weather when we first got here. It was really cool out and rainy, but it got really hot again, like almost like July weather again. But next week I saw it's supposed to go back to the 60s. So that's my favorite weather, so that'll be nice. Um, and anyways, I guess I can really just show you guys what we've done around here. Should I show them what we've done around here, Manny? I'll show you guys what we've done. Turn some lights on. Still don't know where the lights are at. What? Oh, it does it again. Uh, let me show you guys what happened. This is happening in a vlog the other day. My dad, I thought fixed it, but it's happening. Um, the light up there, it'll come on. And then it just shuts itself off. I don't know why it does that. We need to get it fixed. But anyways, I've already shown you guys this over here. Look at this hair. I went with it wet. This is, <laughs> this is what happens when my hair is not styled. I cannot wash my hair and go. My hair is wild. Like, it's so bad. Anyways, um, you guys have seen this. This lights up. You've seen it before in another vlog. Um, and then I had this little thing up here that says blessed. Pretty sure I've shown all of this section. This is where... Our dining room table will go when Manny makes us one. He hasn't made us one. And we're going to have to find something else, like another place to put this when that happens. Um, but for right now, this is here. And we have this bar up here. There's some paperwork on it, so I don't really want to show you everything. But um, we have this, so we could just, like, we have a little stool there. We need more. But um, this is a stool that used to be on my keyboard. Um, but anyways, it looks good in here. So we have this, so we don't really need a table right now. But anyways, that's over here for now. So when you're over here in this little dining room area, you can see our living room. And we have our rug, which I love. Um, and then we have these little pillows that were going to go on the couch. But my mom made them, and she put them on the chair, and I really like them. Well, she didn't make the pillows. I keep saying that. It doesn't really make sense. She made the covers. So she made this one. Well, she made all three, but... She made us this kind, and then this one, she's going to make actually some more of this one, I think is what she said. Or maybe these, I don't remember which one, but I love those pillows. So cute for fall. And then this rug, it's kind of like mixing patterns, but I actually really love that. I think it looks really cute. Um, and then this table is way more modern than what we're going for. And I thought, like, that's not going to work at all. But honestly at least for now it really looks pretty cute like it doesn't look bad at all this is a marble table which i love anything marble but since we're trying to go almost a little more rustic i thought i don't know if that's gonna work but it does it kind of works it's rose gold too the top wouldn't be as bad if it was like um you know wood legs or something but it actually looks pretty cute so we're leaving it here for now i have some other pillows that i want to put on the couch that i haven't done yet that's my planner because i was sitting there this morning doing some stuff. Our rug is just from uh, TJ Maxx. Is that where it's from, Manny? No, Ross. Yeah, our rug is from Ross and it was really inexpensive um, for a rug and it was really nice. And then we have this little basket that has um, blankets in it, but that's gonna be where our Christmas tree goes, I think. I'm already thinking about that. So I really like the rug. I think it kind of just pulls the room together. So yeah, that's kind of like some of our fall decor and everything. Um, I really love it. So this is the basket that Krista got for us. Um, we made cookies last night. Let me set them over here. So she got us this. I just think this is super cute. I don't know where we're going to put this, but I love that. I just think it's adorable. Kind of goes with that rustic thing that I'm kind of trying to do. Um, well, I am trying to do. And then there's this little sign that says Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound, how cute is that? It has like um, the sheet music in the background for that, so cute. And then there's this that you can just pop in something, you can just lay it down somewhere, really cute. And it decorated the basket really nice too when she gave it to us. And then um, that candle over there by the couch. Man, I just found some of my lipsticks. So anyways, Krista got us that little basket. That was super cute. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what our living room is looking like and how it's coming together. We have so much more space now in this house. And um, I just love it. Everything feels so nice. The flooring, 
I'm sure you guys saw it. It looks so nice. We have our little pumpkin out. So these things light up too. We have this little pumpkin. This is Mr. and Mrs. we put out. And then our love sign that lights up. You guys have seen all of that in our other tour of our apartment. All right, so we are about ready to head to a little thing they're having. Um, it's called Oktoberfest. It's a night they have like rides and stuff, kind of like a little, you know, just a small festival. Tonight they have rides and things like that. And then um, I think it goes tonight and then tomorrow. Tomorrow morning there's a parade. We're going to go to that. Um, and then just hang out for a little bit. So, anyways, that's what we're going to do right now. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog and uh, vlog again tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we're going to the parade that they're having. So we're going to go do that. Um, but yeah, anyways, so I'm just going to say goodnight to you guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you so much. I love you guys and I really appreciate you hanging out with me. And um, be sure to leave a comment. I love when people comment i just love to connect with people and i love this platform where we can connect in such a cool way so thanks for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow you're incredible jesus loves you you're important you matter you're valuable go out and do something awesome today make a difference i'll see you tomorrow Bye.